so it feels a bit odd because <laughs> I've never been like to the city center by myself and um, yeah I was in the taxi I didn't get that bit recorded but I'm now going to the bank and trying out my card see if it works and this is basically around the city center if you can see I came here in December 2021 um, I, I came here to sing because I sing Serbian songs yes so when I was here that's when we met for the first time in 2021 and then last you're very brave you know <laughs> thank you because you, you came you came here to to meet him yes yes nice and then I came again last year in July I was hoping to show you footage of the church but that footage got lost so I just have the clip on the way to the church. One of these days we went to visit Belgrade, the footage also got deleted, I got to see this place of Ada and Ada Moit was really nice and different. I made this for dinner and also the footage got deleted so I just have like a few clips of me steaming the seafood before I made it into a curry with pasta. Hey guys, so um, today is Wednesday. We are gonna step out and gonna buy, like yesterday I got some seafood. I don't know where that footage is. I don't know if it's still there, um, but it wasn't there. So um, it somehow got deleted. So now we're gonna buy the prawns. We got like little shrimp. I like shrimp, but they're, they're tiny. I wanna enjoy my food. So tonight I'm gonna make uh, rice with um, veggie stir fry and uh seafood yeah as the main relish i guess so catch you guys in the city center bye about the remembrance of um, the bombing that happened in Serbia in the year 1999. A lot of people died um, for the tragedy and it was very sad. So these are flowers of people bringing in remembrance and it tells that the passengers of the by passes that are here to read about the history and about Serbia. I hope you've learned something and also on the other side we're gonna leave it for another day because there are two sides. This side talking about the war, sorry the bombing, and the other side talking about something else. So to keep on the phone. Um so I got this for the cooking and So this is dinner, this is some pasta, this is the stir fry, for him he's having the stir fry and the pasta, he doesn't want the seafood um, for me, like the one I'm having, so this is our dinner, if you want the recipe, you can always let me know. So the night before I made this for dinner, so that was um, shimmer with 
fried trout, cabbage, and beans. Um, for the beans, I just bought the kind of canned ones and made it my own way that I like to have it. Um, so I started with frying the onion and tomato to make the cabbage. And then once that was ready, I mixed in with the yellow pepper, red pepper. And then for the fish, I just basically fried it. Um, I fried it for like maybe 10 minutes each side. 5 minutes each side. I think a little longer, I'm not quite sure. And then once that was done, I made soup on the same pan where the fish was. And then for the beans, I added some spring onion, cut them up into uh, little pieces and put in some chili flakes and black pepper. And once that was done, I served. The fish was just there marinating in the spices. I rubbed it with uh, paprika and some uh, garlic and also some fish spice that I had got and let it stay there for like maybe 10 minutes I am currently in Serbia so for the Nshima I use Palenta to make it since it's quite similar to Milimil um, but it's just yellow in color it's basically yellow maize um, so it goes very well with my meals and just reminds me of home and I love that um, so it usually cooks for like maximum 30 minutes because then shima needs to cook and be ready because if then shima isn't cooked really well we can taste it and uh, i use an unstick pot to make then shima so it doesn't stick to the um bottom of the pot and then yeah serve the food with that sometimes chicken it depends on what relish i'm feeling that particular day but since it's currently fasting season so it's mostly fish that we have then shima with morning dobro jutro um so i'm making breakfast well it's kind of light so but hey i'm making uh, avocado um uh, with bread and tea oh you guys the avocados here are so tiny look it's in my size like so tiny avocado in zambia like they're big ginormous so i think these i'll need two of these um to make my avocado spread i don't usually have that style like guacamole kind of style i like the sweet avocado way that's how we mostly have it back home guacamole kind of thing is when you're like out in the restaurant and you order that but at home it's not something you'd want to make by yourself really so i think i'll take two of these i'm gonna show you how i do it So you simply just get the avocado like so, cut it here, make kind of in half, so to say, and just switch it a bit like so, and it breaks like this. So I'm gonna take my spoon and just scrape it off with the bottom of the bowl.
take the other one. There's still some I will find over here. Let me see. So I started like mixing it to have this texture like that. So you keep on doing that until you have like a smooth kind of texture that you want. And see, now we have this kind of consistency and this is the kind of consistency I like. Then I'm going to make my tea. I just realized that there actually isn't any bread. And here we are and today let's talk about the weather. It's so sunny and so pretty. Um, so yeah. You just take some like this and then you add it to your bread like that. Let me spread it for an hand. And that's it. So we are currently out, out and about. This is my outfit here. And so basically taking a walk around the city center. This dog is so excited on the street. I can even jump around the city center. This is not the city center, by the way. I'm just walking, just having a walk. Um, I think we'll go to the city center also. It's a nice neighborhood, quiet. Okay, the last try. So the goal is the teddy is bear. Teddy bear. We A bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Almost. I then took some pictures in the city center. Um, they're posted on my Instagram. You may follow me. My username is above. We got home and made smoothies, so this was apple, banana, orange, and kiwi. And I actually tried kiwi for the first time. It was very delicious. I liked it. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. going to see you guys next week, same time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you'd like to support my channel by helping me buy better quality, a camera or equipment for the channel you can donate i'll link my patreon in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys later